When you think about it, they don't teach us at school anything about money. I mean, money's about the most important thing in this society. Why don't they teach us anything about it? They can't, don't they? They can't. It's a, it's, it's a confidence trick. Yeah. Yeah? You know? And it's, it's, it's 180 degrees from way, the way we think of it. Uh, you know, we think that money comes from somebody else, but it actually comes from us. Yeah. You know, when you, when you get a, a loan, when you get a loan, they present you with a loan agreement, yeah? What do you think that loan agreement is? It's a promissory note. Yeah. I promise to pay back three times the amount if it's a mortgage, yeah? yeah. You know? So that what they do with that promissory note, they monetize it. They put it into an account and cash it. And now they give you that money and say, now you have to pay it back to us. But you created that money. You know, it's your promissory note. You created that money. So transaction's over with. You don't have to pay them back because they didn't do anything. They just, they just went, um, thank you very much. And here you go. <laughs> Fundamentally, a promissory note is a promise, a promise to pay. Now, if I was going to give you a promissory note for two dozen eggs, that means here's uh, an IOU, the IOU, uh, you know, two dozen eggs. Now, it could be on demand or it could be at a, a set time in the future. If it was on demand, you would be within your right to say, John, look, anyway, here's a promissory note. It says on demand, I want two dozen eggs. So I said, all right, look, I haven't got on me on me. I, no, I'll pop over the shop and get you your eggs. Here we go. There we go. And this is what we did originally when promissory notes started out, uh, was that we used them to make a promise that, uh, because, uh, you know, I, I've got like all these pounds of gold, right? And I want them stored safely. And I want to be able to trade that gold, but without the hassle of carrying it around. So what I do, I go to the bank and they give us a promissory note. So I've got this promise to pay. So I can then take it somewhere else and say, look, I've got two pounds of, you know, two pounds of gold here or silver, whatever it is. This is how it started out. Now, at no time have promissory notes been, you know, outlawed or taken away. And this is how big corporations actually trade with each other, with promissory notes. And in their memorandum or oh, articles of association, when they set up their businesses, a lot of them will state within their documents that they will take promissory notes. Now, the problem is, of course, that the actual Bank of England and our government working with the banks have taken away all the value to the promissory notes which are used as our, our currency. So now the promise to pay one pound, well, one pound of what? It's, it's not one pound of anything. It's just, uh, it's now become like monopoly money. This is back to the analogy with monopoly. It's not worth anything. So basically it's just a piece of paper. So what we do, we can actually say, well, here's a promissory note for a thousand pounds. I want to swap it for your promissory note or put it into my bank account and uh, accredit my bank account with a thousand pounds. Now we spoke to a bank manager and we said to the bank manager, could you tell me what would happen if I came to your branch with a promissory note for a thousand pounds, would you have to accept it? And his words were, yes, of course I would. It's law. So you're going to accept a promissory note? Of course, no, I'm not going to accept it, but by law, I have to. So this is a bank manager that knew the law. He also knew the difference between a, a bill of exchange and, and a promissory note as well. So he was well up on his law. So, you know, and they, remember these are statutes, but because they, these, these are companies, they have to apply by their statutes, you see. We don't, but they do. So it's almost like, you know, they create enough rope and they are hanging themselves you see so that's a, it's actually the statue is the way that we actually overcome them i believe but yeah because this is evolving so you know as as we do things they do things to counter and so on but um, this is evolving the, the latest one is um is along with the remittance slip um other people have have uh, have created a promissory note which is literally a, a piece of paper that says i promise to pay the bearer the, um, the sum of blah 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 and you sign it date it and now that becomes a species of money according to the bill of exchange act um, in fact the the money in your pocket is a promissory note somewhere it says i promise to pay the bearer and there's somebody's signature on it 
Um, and it's actually a, 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 an invalid promissory note because it's not dated. Um, um, or actually, that's wrong. <laughs> that's actually wrong. Um, it's on demand, so it is dated. It's not actually getting away with stuff. This is the thing you've got to get, um, you've got to get out of your head because what, what's really happening is they're getting away with it. Yeah, no, you're right, yeah. Yeah, you're just, um, yeah. You're just coming back into your power yeah. and, and saying, no, I'm not, going to be, I'm not going to give away my signature anymore. Yeah. This is what you're doing. Your signature is the most powerful thing on this planet, yeah? Um, your signature is worth an unlimited amount. And this is the thing we don't realise. We have the power. You can go into a bank, okay, and come away with a hundred thousand pounds uh, as a loan. Yeah, what do they take from you for that hundred thousand pounds? Your signature, just your signature. You see the power of that signature now. Yeah. So with your signature, if you write your promissory note, you've created money, and that money is your promise to pay. Your promise to work, use your energy, yeah? That's all there is. Your unlimited energy. And that is what the money is. And you supply it, not banks.